It is often said that the uh, genome is our fate, our destiny, which certainly is true, but there is another level of control in our lives, that is the epigenome, epi above the genome. In addition to uh, DNA sequences, which basically give us a br blueprint of who we are as a human beings. There's another group of chemicals that deposited on the genome, on the DNA, that dictate how the genes are interact with the environment, interact with the developmental processes, and how they alter during processes such as a disease and aging. There are many, many diseases that are caused by alteration in those marks of the epigenome. Diseases of the newborn, diseases of the adult, diseases of the aging, cancer, many, many diseases where the epigenome plays an important role. What we have discovered is a precise technology to modify our epigenome. This technology allows us to deposit the muscle group, the muscle mark, on the DNA in the region, particular region we choose where we want to target it. In this case, we choose to target a region that is being implicated in the colon cancer, and we target the region that has abnormal patterns of isolation in a disease called Angelman syndrome. Our technology read as correct aberrant DNA maturation in Angelman syndrome. This is a neurodevelopmental disorder as autism. This work has important implications for healthy development, aging, and disease. We expect this technology can be broadly applied to many other diseases and disorders that are associated with epigenetic aberrations. If I were to make an analogy, the genome is what the writer in a book wants to tell us, the original text, and the epigenome is what we interpret. And both things are important to get the message. I'm convinced that technologies like these could be very useful for correct many of the diseases that we cannot correct today.